Hello, human beings. This is Karan Williams. Coming with you with another video. Now, today's video, I want to go ahead and talk about this uh, article. Uh, snaps, uh, brain down. <laughs> we got bananas on top. So, before we go into the video, I want to go ahead and say thank you for all my subscribers. I never asked for subscribers, but everybody came and subscribed to me. Thank you very much. I really do appreciate every single one of you. Also, for people who helped me out too, really appreciate it. I just left a, a fiery show. It was a disgrace. It was wild. It was crazy. I, that Irish demon, Nathan Thompson thing, that was mind-blowing. But anyways, I'd like to say happy St. Patrick Day to everybody because you know i got the tie got the hat tilt to the side haircut need to be that so what we're about to talk about is we're talking about a we're talking about race again do apologize i think this right here i think it is need to be known because if somebody come across this video i want to give my opinion and this is my opinion Okay, opinion mean what I think. It could be right, it could be wrong. Let me know in the comment if you come by and you disagree. I'm up for it, and I could tell you how I think too. But with that being said, with that being said, let's go into the video. Now, there was this one YouTuber that covered this. His name is Ruin Leon. To me, I think he's an awesome channel. Uh, if you want, go ahead and check out his page. I'm going to try to put a link down in the description. If not, I just write down the name. Just go to him and check him out. If you want to subscribe to him, you're more than welcome to. He's actually a pretty good content creator. He actually don't play the victim, which is awesome. He take responsibility and he put in the hard work like I'm trying to put in the hard work. He's a young cat too, so he's he's fresh. You know, he's like younger than me, but he's, he's fresh. But let's go into the video and let me make mine. So, smaller. In the circle. Do, 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 do. We're talking about the Oprah photo is quickly becoming the latest example of digital blackface. Digital blackface. Is is that a thing? But let's go as human beings who don't care about the color of our skin, or let me say pigment of our skin. So let's go ahead and go into it. All right. Now I'm going to look down and read. Days later, the internet is still experiencing the aftershock of Meghan Markle interview with Oprah. People are still praising both Markle and Oprah still waiting for, I'm sorry, still waiting for a real reason for the royal family. And of course, still sharing memes. Okay. Oprah very successful. She's one of the most successful human beings that you can think of at the moment. And yes, I am keeping her race and her gender out of it because here we talk about the human being. Unless if it says her and everything, I'm just reading it. And I, and she's been very successful. Um, you know, uh just very, very successful. I, I'll give her the respect. She worked from down to to up. It's pretty successful. Oprah had been at the center of many of these memes and tweets. Which Oprah are you today? Read several using her expression from the interview as ranking example. Jimmy Kendall even creating a complicate a uh, compilation video of just Oprah reacting to Markel. Both people have begun worried that the ex excessive use of the image, which primary depict Oprah looking shock and horrific to learn sp sp specific detail about the royal family racism, is quickly <laughs> escalated into the latest insane of digital blackface, especially when Comparing to other viral gifts of black women using 
uh, convict stun emotion. Whew. Kind of late, a little tired. I try to record this kind of late, so you know I'm like quiet. So apparently, I'm guessing black people is talking about you're not black. Don't use the don't use black pictures. Don't use black picture or black gifts. And I'm going to be honest with you. My opinion is, hey, if you like a meme, sorry, looking at my phone, I got I got a, actually a perfect setup. If you like a meme, use it. It's comedy. Memes. Pictures go a thousand words because without expression, how can you tell these people having fun, sadness, enjoyment? We all have expressions. Now, to give you an example, me, I know American Sign Language, all right? My teacher, her son was deaf. So my, I'm sorry, her son was deaf. My grandmother, she was deaf. So me learning American Sign Language, there's one thing American Sign Language do expression so we know if somebody is happy sad miserable so on and so forth so if they're using expressions i think that's totally fine well not just that if people are going to express themselves that's totally fine to me i'm with that because there's one meme i use consistently and that's this meme uh let me turn it down sorry oops if that's this meme I love this meme. This is my favorite meme of all time. Reason why I like that meme is because, sorry. The reason why I like that meme is because, no, I just enjoy it. Did that mean I'm digital white facing? No. And there's no such thing as digital back facing. Let's continue. The idea of digital blackface had been around for a while, which still bothered me, but whatever. But writers Lauren Michelle Jackson popularized the term in a 2017 essay of 14 vlog or Teen Vogue. The Slow Factor Foundation. Okay, the Slow Factory Foundation, an organization that helped that had also drawn attention to the phenomenon uh, defense is at the widespread of trends of white and non-black people expressing emotion, typically frustrated or anger through gifts and image of black people. So, so, so what? People is mad. People frustrated. People angry, people happy. If it's funny, it's going to be used. If I get gifted, I want anybody to use it, depending on their feelings. If I'm happy in this gift, use it. If I'm sad in this gift, use it. If I'm mad in this gift, use it. I don't care who you are because we're all human beings. <sighs> Uh, like the appropriation of AAVE on apps like Twitter and TikTok of white people using black emoji, digital blackface feed into the greater trend of non-black people performing blackness in order to look cool or humorous. Honestly, that sounds like a compliment, but I digress. <sighs> Performing blackness, be it in real life or online, is not a acceptable form of expressing reaction or distaste of dissatisfaction, especially not in exchanging for likes and retweets. Yo, like that just blew my mind. That's crazy. Whatever. 
The Slow Factory wrote in a recent Instagram post since the hashtag Mahana Harry interview on Oprah, we've been seeking a lot of digital blackface in fraction with a view of Oprah reaction gifts and image going viral. But that doesn't mean you should be using them. Okay. Little history. Little history. Okay. All right. And, and, and please tell me this. All right. Tell me this. I understand that back in the day, there was literally digital blackface. I get that. Now, I get back in the day, there was slavery. I get that. It doesn't matter what type of slavery. Slavery is wrong. Doesn't matter what race or what gender or whatever you are. And I get it. It is is wrong. And in America, there was a there was bad slavery. I get that. But uh, let me ask you a question: Was you there? Like, was you there during the oppression? And I'm not talking about like the older older people because they probably was there. And I get it. And I understand how you feel. But I'm talking about people that is like my age, you know, a little bit older, my age, you know, like 50, 50. I'm not 50, but like 50, 40, 30, 20, 10. Was you there? Was you through that oppression? Was you going through all that oppression? Okay. Yes, it happened. I get it. I understand how you feel. All right. But at the same time, we have to move on and grow as a community. But if you want to keep on holding your grudges over something that didn't happen to you, because here's the thing. The people that you call them racist, they're probably not racist. you probably racist for assuming that that person is racist. All right? And then I got something that I want to, I want to add, and I'll wait till the end. Uh, go back on that one. This is a blackface term, an online phenomenon which where white and black and non-black people share gifts and photos of black folks to experience emotion or reaction to anything happening on the internet. While seamlessly harmless, the problem with digital blackface is that it's a thin, often reformed negative stereotype about black folks such as their aggressiveness, loudness, sassy, and simple here of your consuming and entertainment it is another way of another way people try a and co-op black identity and culture without any of those day-to-day realization I'm mean, a real realize of being black. Are you are you serious? Are are you serious? Stereotype. Stereotype. You think black people get stereotyped? No, Asian gets stereotyped. Oh, they're nerdy. They can't drive. Oh, white people get stereotyped. They smell like wet dogs. Oh, they eat macaroni and cheese. Hispanic get stereotyped. Oh, they cross the border. They're, they 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 was crossing the border over the water. Um, all they do is drink um Coronas. Um, Indian people get get um get a uh, stereotype. Oh, um. Uh, they 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 eat curry or or they don't do beef or whatever. Native American gets um stereotype. Oh, you know they uh they um they have casinos stuff like that. Do you think black people only people that get criticized? Are you kidding me? And then you feel bad because they showing a mean. This is literally. The definition of first world problems. You can't take it. So now you want to go ahead and take away somebody else's fun just because they use a meme. You know what? If I get meme, anybody can use my meme. I won't get offended or anything like that. And, and let me, and that's just crazy. You know what? Bring this back. I got a question for those people that actually think like this because I could give you my answer right now. I'm black. Okay, and I want to, and then let's say you're in your race, and then you go after another person that's in your race. All right, you you so in your race, and you only defend your race. Can you hop into another person, and you can't stop it? Stop it! You can't stop who who your mom and dad make love with 
and then you come out. It doesn't matter. So with your mindset right now for what you're in, if you go into a different color race and still have that mindset, like I want to protect the race of my skin and still go after the other person for that, will you be racist or would you not? Because I'll give you the answer. I'm not going to do that because I, I understand that it will hurt people. I will never have that mindset. And I believe in the human race over than anything else. And therefore, I want to treat other people like myself. But if your mindset is saying, no, um, I will never do that, then what give you the right to go ahead and accuse somebody to be racist without any evidence or any, or go ahead with the blind eye? And then if you do say yes, that you will be racist, well, congratulations. You just prove a point that you could be racist, depending on a certain color of the skin. But I digress. I mean, I want to treat other people like I want to be treated. If you're going to go ahead and, and do that to me, that I can't be your friend. I can't do anything like that because I believe that we can all grow as human beings. But it's whatever. <sighs> this really kind of made me mad. And I got I got irritated by it. But that's all for today. Um, if you like this video, leave me a like. And if you disagree with this video, I'm sorry, not leave me a like. I'm sorry. If you disagree with this video, we got want to earn subs. I don't want to go ahead and beg for subs, and I really appreciate it. But go ahead and check out Ruin Leon. I'll go ahead and put down the channel in the description. If I don't, I'll type it out, and I'll make sure that it's out there. But if you disagree with this, let me know in the comment. I really want to see so we can have a conversation. I'm not going to ban it. I'm not going to do all that. Just let me know. We can have a discussion. I would like to have a discussion with you. And with that being said, my name is Karan Williams, and remember, we are all human beings. I'll check you later. Peace.